it's ridiculous. Uh, I, I, it's shocking because we live in such an amazing community. Even though nothing happened, it's scary to hear that they were actually in the parking lot with, with weapons. Am I worried for my son? Yes. According to CBS News, there were 25 school shootings in our country last year. Eight people were killed and 42 more were injured. Before spring break and before the COVID-19 pandemic canceled traditional school for the year here in Oklahoma, Brian, you tracked school threats made across the state and the numbers are concerning. Yeah, Ashley, the numbers are very concerning. In fact, we reported on 27 school threats this year alone, and police admit to me that number is actually much higher, but not all threats are reported to news outlets. And one state lawmaker, a freshman lawmaker, telling me it is only a matter of time before there is a school shooting in Oklahoma if we don't get help to kids at a younger age. We never know what trauma is going to do with a child's mind. That's most concerning to District 15 Representative Randy Randleman. From your point of view, how big of a problem is this? I think it's a huge problem. The freshman lawmaker is the first licensed psychologist at the state capitol and has been tasked with addressing school threats statewide. I think it will keep getting worse and worse unless we get those interventions like we want uh, in the lower elementary. This is a look at the school threats we were able to track this school year. Most, as you can see, happen in Tulsa County with seven threats. But in Green Country, there were also school threats reported in Rogers, Osage, Washington, Creek, Muskogee, Wagner, Okmulgee, Pittsburgh, and Pawnee counties. And it was in Pawnee County where a school bus driver overheard 18-year-old Dalton Mitchell threaten to bring a gun to school to shoot and kill his principal, Stacy Womack. He didn't wait, um, and, and I'm definitely grateful to him being concerned and alarmed enough to stop immediately and make that phone call. You know, time is typically of the essence in a situation like this, and I feel like our bus driver did exactly what he needed to do. Womack says she couldn't believe the threat came from a student she knew quite well. I had talked to him the, the previous week, just passing in the hall. There was never anything on my radar that would have alerted me to be even remotely concerned about him being a potential threat. In the hours after learning that a student threatened to shoot and kill her, Womack tells me she most worried about the safety of her students. I have 180 kids and people trust me to take care of them. How am I gonna keep them safe? It probably wasn't until two days later that the gravity of the situation honestly had an impact on me. It also had an impact on her family. Everyone worried for her safety, and she admits there are still times when she looks over her shoulder more often. But at the same time, I will continue to conduct business the way that I always do. Um, I'm not going to walk around in fear. Another high-profile case was in Pittsburgh County, where police say 18-year-old Alexis Wilson threatened to shoot up McAllister High School, telling a co-worker she wanted to shoot 400 people for fun. The threat so alarming it made national news. Investigators tell News on 6 Wilson had an AK-47 with six magazines, 160 rounds of ammo, and a 12-gauge shotgun with a stock sleeve for extra shells. And throughout the school year, the threats continued. A 14-year-old threatened violence against other students at Ulagatalala schools on Snapchat. A 19-year-old threatened to blow up a school in Bartlesville to kill everyone inside. A 13-year-old accused of making a hit list at Holland Hall Middle School. And six students taken into custody by Tulsa police for posting a social media threat against Central High. Coming up next Thursday, part two of my special report on school threats. Investigators tell me the most common ways that kids are making these threats. Also, why investigating them is not always easy and the common link in nearly every single case.